Chapter 10, page 195. I'm in the first full paragraph at the top of page 195. I look, my lotus, we have a visitor, cried a familiar voice, almost at his elbow. He spun around to see the ancient and his donkey splashing through the tall reeds. The old man stopped and looked at him curiously. What ails you, young one? Did you think I was a keft? Nay, Renifer muttered, but, but his heart still pounded from the nervous start he had given. To cover it, he waded a little farther, pushed aside the last fringe of papyrus, pretending to study the bright-colored sails that dotted the river. The ancient followed, talking cheerfully. It's a fine sight, isn't it? See the river full to its brim again. Makes a man work with a will. I've a good load today. By the grace of Osiris, I'll wager the sailmakers will greet me with shouts of joy and load me with coppers. Oh, I, I certainly may set, may set take their stingy hides. They'll give me as little as I'll take. The ancient chuckled and loosed his donkey to drink. But why worry tomorrow? But why worry? Tomorrow everyone will have cakes and beer. I, he mused, great Osiris is ready to loose his flood over the land once more. Seen any hangings lately? For a moment, the noisy sucking of the donkey was the only answer to the familiar joke. Then Ranifer said, Nay. The word came out so choked that the old man turned to peer at him. What ails you, young one? he asked again. Nothing. Ranifer's bare toes dug convulsively into the mud. I, I was only thinking of those wicked ones we saw hanging there that day. Ancient. How was their crime found out? Page 196, at the top. He could feel the old man still watching him, though he kept his own eyes on the sail. Why? The ancient answered slowly. They will follow. Follow to the valley? Startled out of his nerves, Jennifer turned to stare at him. I to the valley. To the tomb itself and into the tomb. Into the tomb? But, but who could dare? One who loved his pharaoh and the gods of Egypt. He dared. The ancient said simply. His one eye was shrewd and very thoughtful. Why do you ask me, young one? What do you know of tomb thieves? Save what I tell you. Nothing, nothing at all, Renifer. I curious, I know the ways of boys. They are like cats who thrust their noses into everything and oftentimes are sorry. You had best save your curiosity, young one, for safer subjects. Ranfer swallowed and did not answer. The ancient was still studying him as if trying to see straight through his eyes and his heart, and Ranifer was beginning to feel alarmingly transparent. Well, I must take my leave, uh, he stammered, edging away. We will meet tomorrow at daybreak, the three of us. Aye, aye, of course. And, and you are... Nothing ails you? Nay. Jennifer turned and left abruptly, forgetting to bumble so much that they live forever in his haste to get away. Only after he was well beyond the thicket, and emerging into the dusty lane to call down Ammon's protection on the old man and on himself, who needed it far more. For when Gebu set out tomorrow for the valley of the tombs of the kings, he knew he must follow.